Hey everyone, it's Kara here from Boho Berry and I'm back with a brand new video for you today and I'm really excited about this one because this is my digital plan with me for the month of May. Uh, if you watched my regular plan with me last week, then you know that I'm going to be doing a whole month in my digital planner and I'm going to apologize in advance. My dogs are upstairs with me and they're already getting a little rowdy so you might hear them a little bit throughout this video. All right, so I do want to start with saying that some of the things that I'm going to be doing in here aren't going to seem super intuitive if you've never done digital planning before, but my plan for this month is that as the month progresses, I'm going to be adding short little like two to three minute tutorial videos every day as well, kind of going further in depth into some of the things that I'm doing in my planner, kind of to answer your questions along the way. So I wanted to show you quickly my April and how that turned out at the end of the month. So this here is my monthly spread where I had kind of everything at a glance and I'm using the app GoodNotes uh, for my planner, but you could use any app that is a PDF reader and annotator. But in GoodNotes, you can just swipe with two fingers to go to the next page. So I have my April gratitude log here. I still need to finish filling that out and then my mood mandala for the month of April, which I also need to <laughs> finish today. And then we have some of my weekly planning spreads in here, a little bit of journaling, more weekly planning, more journaling, more journaling, <laughs> way more journaling. <laughs> you can tell I've been really excited about journaling in my digital planner, it's been really fun. And then my last weekly spread right here. All right, so here we are in the month of May, and I'm actually gonna start with a clean slate. So this is my 2018 dated planner, and you can see that I already had some stuff in here already filled out. So I'm gonna show you how I did that. So I'm gonna take my lasso tool up top here, and I'm just gonna get rid of everything that I added in already, uh, except the moon phases. I'll leave those, because they're kind of finicky to put in. All right, so, Good notes, you can type with fonts. However, they have a very limited uh, font menu. So I'm actually just gonna go here and tap and hold. And you can tap on text here to add whatever text you want. And then you have your font selection right here. And you can see it's just a very limited menu of fonts. So I actually don't use that feature. So I'm gonna tap off of this and out. And I'm gonna show you how I get my font, my Berry Bubble font, into my planner. So I know that from the 4th through the 6th, I'm going to a Peloton event in New York City. So I'm actually gonna close out of here, and I'm gonna to go to an app called Graphic. And I'm just gonna create a new document. I'm gonna say it's blank, tap on it there. And I'm gonna use this text tool and I already have my font to be the default in this app, but I'm gonna double tap to edit, and I'm gonna say Peloton HRI. Okay, so that's what I wanna bring in. I'm actually gonna make this a little bit smaller and move it over here. And I also know that I have a new moon ceremony with Ezzy Spencer. She's gonna be in our uh, book club Facebook group conducting a new moon ceremony with us. So I'm gonna type that in moon ceremony oh, can't see what I'm doing there we go with Ezzy Spencer 7 p.m. Eastern all right and I want this to actually be centered so I'm going to select all align center and I'm done with that one make it a little bit smaller all right, so now I have my two bits of text that I wanna to add to my planner. So I'm actually just gonna tap and hold and I'm gonna copy and I'm just gonna double click to go right back to GoodNotes and I'm gonna hit tap and hold and then hit paste. And then you can see my text is right here. So I'm actually gonna make this a little bit smaller. I want it to fit just in that little box there. All right, so I've got that in there. Now I'm gonna go back to graphic and I'm gonna select this text and tap and hold, copy, go back to GoodNotes, and I'm gonna tap and hold, and paste, oops, tap and hold, and paste. 
All right, and that is on the 15th. So I'm going to put that right in there. All right, and then I want to make sure that this stands out, that it's the 4th through the 6th. So I'm going to take my highlighter and let's see what size do I want to use. Uh, maybe a little bit bigger. I'll undo that. And I want this line to be perfectly straight, so I'm going to use my shape tool up here. And I'm just going to highlight from here to here. And it doesn't matter that my line is squiggly because it's going to make that straight for me. All right, and then I'm going to take my black and I'm going to keep it on the straight line tool and just make my arrows here. All right. All right, now the other thing that I want to add is my habits that I want to track this month. I forgot to write those in. So let's go back to graphic and I'm just going to select, oops, double tap to edit. I'm going to select all and delete and I'm going to type this in here. So let's see, I want to track wake by 6 a.m. I want to track Peloton. I need to get back to writing my Peloton uh, this month. Uh, strength training. And taking my prenatal vitamins. Eating clean. And bed by 11. All right, let's see. Perfect. Oops. 11 p.m. All right, and I want this one to be left aligned. Align left. Oops, whole thing. Select all. Align left. Perfect. All right, so now we have this. I'm going to tap and hold, copy, go back to GoodNotes, and paste. All right, now I want to rotate this so that it's vertical. Then I'm going to bring it over here and I'm just going to center it as well as I can. And then I'm going to bring it down in size until they all fit perfectly where I want them. Maybe a little bit smaller. There we go. That looks good. All right, so now I have my habits set up for the month. And for the month of May, I decided I wanted to go with a cherry blossom theme. So I actually created in Procreate, and I'll show you those. I created some cherry blossom stickers. Let me turn the background on here so you can see these. I created these really cute cherry blossom stickers and washi tape to use in my planner for the month of May. And I was feeling pretty generous when I was creating these last night, so I decided to make these free downloadable stickers in the Tribe Resource Library. So when you download these in the Tribe Resource Library, let me get back into GoodNotes, and I'm going to open up my files. And you can see here, this is my folder for my cherry blossom stickers. So when you download these in the resource library, and I'm going to do a full tutorial on this later, but there's going to be a good notes file that brings them in already cropped and cut for you. You're also going to have the option to select the full sheets or the individual standalone images. And then I also have a couple of Procreate brushes in here for you that are just stamps of the flowers. So I'm actually going to go to my individual images and I'm going to bring, I think I'm going to do my cherry blossom branch. I'm going to put that right here. I'm going to make it relatively small and I'm going to have it overlap my daily headers a little bit. And then let's see, I also have this little cherry blossom bunch, bundle, <laughs> bunch of cherry blossoms. I'm going to put that right there. All right. And then I think I want to do my washi as well. So I have three different colors of washi. I'm going to go with the blue and let's see if I can make this fit down here. I don't want to cover up anything else, but now that I have it the right size, I'm just going to select it. Oops. I'm going to take my lasso tool. <laughs> I'm going to select it tap and copy, and then I'm going to press and hold and paste. So now I have it the exact same size for the other side. All right, there we go. So that's looking pretty good. 
And another thing that I did was I kind of designed a May to kind of go with this theme. So I'm actually going to cover that up. So I'm going to take my May that I wrote out in pink with a white background because if it had a transparent here, I'll show you first with the transparent background. I give you the option for both, but you'll see it's not going to cover up what's already there because it's transparent. <laughs> so I'm going to delete that and grab this one with the white background. And I'm going to place it right over the top there. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to close this out and we're going to move on. So if you notice, when I swipe, it's going to take me to the very first week. Or alternatively, if I tap on the first day of the month, it's going to take me to that very first week. However, I want to add in my pages for my gratitude log and my mood tracker for the month of May. So I'm actually going to go to this section down here, and these are my blank pages that I can copy and paste into the journal wherever I want them. So I'm going to zoom in so that you can really see here. I have graph pages, dot grid, lined, and blank. All right, so I'm going to tap on my blank pages, and you can see it's just a blank spread. And then I'm going to tap on these four squares up here to get my thumbnails. And I'll see that's page 101. I'm going to tap edit. I'm going to tap on page 101 again and copy. All right, so that has copied that page. I'm going to select done. And now I'm going to go all the way back up to May. So here's my May monthly spread. I'm going to tap the plus symbol and right in between May and that first week, I'm going to hit the plus here and paste copied pages. So now I have a spread for my gratitude log and I'm going to do that one more time to have a spread for my mood tracker. And I'm just going to hit done. All right. So now when I go back to May, when I swipe right, I have these two pages in between before my week starts and all of the links on all of these still work properly. All right, so I'm gonna go back to May and swipe over. And I wanna make this one my gratitude log. So I'm actually gonna bring in some of those same stickers. So I'm gonna go back to my files. And let's see, I think I just wanna do the washi. So I'm gonna go with the pink version of the washi and bring it down in size a little bit. about there. And then I'm going to lasso that and copy it. Tap and hold, paste, and put that right there. All right, so I got some cute washi at the bottom, and I think I might add my cherry blossoms up to the top. So I have a few different versions of these. Uh, this one has no black outline, so it kind of has like a watercolor effect. It's really pretty. You can see it's transparent there. I think I'm going to put this, I might put it vertically over here. Yeah, that's pretty. Actually, I've changed my mind. So I'm going to tap and hold on this, and I'm going to hit edit, and that allows me to rotate it. So I'm actually going to bring it up over on the top here. All right, now I want to have my gratitude header. So I'm actually going to go into Procreate and just write out the word gratitude. Let's go here. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to turn this on its side and let's pick a brush. I think I'm going to do that same brush that I used for the word May which was this sign paint brush. Um, this sign paint brush, I usually try to name my brushes as to where I got them from. Uh, so you'll see I have JSP Create, uh, Rad and Happy, but a couple of these I don't have them named properly. So I apologize, I have no idea where I got this brush from. Um, but I think I'm gonna go with my Boho Berry Teal and just write this out. All right, and I don't think I'm super happy with the size of that G. I'm gonna to try to make it a little larger. So I'm gonna lasso that. And just bring it up a little bit. 
Good. That looks awesome. All right. So I'm going to kind of center this a little bit and turn off my background layer. That way it's trans it's a transparent image. And I am going to save as a PNG. Save image. So this is saving it directly to my camera roll on my iPad. And now I'm going to go back into GoodNotes and I'm going to tap and hold, select image from photos. Of course, they're mowing the grass right now. Uh, go to camera roll and there is my gratitude. So I'm going to bring it over here and I'm probably going to crop it just to get rid of all that excess space there. All right, and now I'm going to bring it down to whatever size I want it to be. All right, there we go. So last month I actually set up all of my numbers in advance so that I could just write everything out. This month I think I'm just going to leave it really um, kind of blank and let myself play with it. So I'm going to leave my gratitude spread just like that. And then on the next page, I'm going to do my mood mandala for the month of May. So I'm actually going to go to my sticker book and I'm going to go to my table of contents and find my mood mandala, which is on page eight. And then I'm just going to use my lasso tool and select this whole entire page, hit copy, and then go back to my planner, tap and hold and paste. And then I'll click off of it to set that in place. And what I love about the way that I designed my sticker book um, is that the pages are the exact same size as the pages in my planner. So once I have everything laid out the way that I want it in my sticker book, I can just copy and paste it. And once I get in here, I don't have to worry about resizing or any of that to make it fit the page. I know it's going to fit perfectly. All right, so I've got my mood mandala on here. And I think I want to also add some more of those cherry blossoms to this page. Since I have all this extra white space right here, I think that branch will look really nice. And I think I'm just gonna go with the black and white version. I'm gonna rotate that around, bring it down in size a little bit, put it right there. Yeah, I think that looks good. All right, so then up next is my first weekly spread. So today being Monday, it's time to get completely set up for this week. So in the planners that I'm gonna have for sale starting tomorrow, uh, they are gonna have this quarterly week format. However, I am also gonna have a version that has completely blank spreads for the week so that you can design your own weekly spread as you see fit as well. All right, so I am actually gonna go to my sticker book, go to my table of contents, and I want my trackers. So I'm gonna tap there, go to my trackers page, and I actually wanna grab this little daily time tracker right here. So I'm gonna hit copy, go back to my planner, hit paste, and bring this over. It looks like I am gonna to have to size it down a little bit, so I'm gonna resize and put that right there. So the, now that I have that size right, I'm actually just gonna copy that one and paste it all the way across. All right, and then I wanna continue setting up my weekly spread. So I know that I wanna have my section for projects right down here. So I'm actually gonna go back to my trackers and I'm gonna grab this vertical tracker right here and copy it over and I'm going to track four main projects this week and actually I want these a little bit closer there we go and I'm actually going to copy the projects sticker that I had in weeks past over to here. So I'm actually going to go to April and let's see, let's go to this week, I think is the first one where I used it. Yes. All right. So I'm going to get my lasso tool and I'm going to lasso this whole little sticker here and copy. And then I'll go back to my current week, tap and hold and hit paste. 
and plop that right in there. And it looks like I'm going to have to move these over a little bit. So I'm going to lasso, drag, lasso, and drag. And now that I think about it, these probably need to be a little smaller. There we go. So I've got my progress bars for my four projects this week. And that is pretty much it as far as just the general bones of my weekly spread. Now I'm going to go in and add the weather for today. So it is going to be partly sunny. Let's go to weather. All right, y'all. So unfortunately, it looks like my video cut off. My husband tried to call me and I didn't realize that was going to stop uh, my video. But I did get everything else set up in here. I have my weather there at the top. I wrote that in. Then I took my highlighter and highlighted the color codes for my day and added my task list for the week or for today. And then I added in the names of my projects down below here for the week ahead. So I'm going to be working on digital planner stuff mostly today and tomorrow. I'll also be having an anniversary sale in my shop for the month of May. So I'm excited about that. Also, Kristen and I are scoping out some new office spaces, so I really need to get into finding some locations for those. And then I really want to get back into working out this week, so I'm going to try to work out five times this week. And that's it. I'm already set up for today and set up for the week ahead. So for May, I do have some other appointments and events that I want to add in here. Unfortunately, I'm using all of my devices at the moment. I have my iPhone filming this downward view. I have my laptop recording the screen of my iPad, and then of course I'm using the iPad for this video. So I'm not able to access my calendar to kind of add those in, but I'm gonna do that later on today. I have my gratitude log all set up and good to go. And then I have my mood mandala, which I added my colors in just with the highlighter, just with the highlighter tool up here. I just picked my colors and added those in for the month. All right, y'all, that is gonna be it. If you have any questions, definitely drop them down below. I hope you enjoyed this plan with me. Also, I will have links to all of my supplies uh, down below for you. And don't forget that you can get the Cherry Blossom stickers for free in the Tribe Resource Library. And the link to join that, if you're not already a member, is in the description box below as well. All right, y'all, I hope you have an amazing, amazing rest of your Monday. And I will look forward to seeing you very soon. Bye.